six hours in and it looks like the first bowl is good morning modern steaders it's a cold one this morning it's 10 degrees fahrenheit out i don't know what that is in celsius but it's cold it's a good day to test our waters and see how well they work i like your winter hat stay warm on the bus today you're right livies the snow is sparkling like glitter i wonder if i turn around if the camera will pick it up better look at that a uh, little bit. Wish you guys could see how much it was sparkling in real life. In order to get the foam to dry up, I had to take the bowl, rubber bowls out. So after we do the animal chores, I want to come back in and trim up the foam so the bowl will sit flush. Just, then we're going to do a water freezing test and find out We'll do a bowl without a tire and one in a tire. And we'll see what the difference is for freeze time. It's 10 degrees out, so it's a perfect day to do some water freezing tests. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think it's showing up on camera, but the trees are all covered in a thin light coat of frost. What are you doing, Figaro? Crazy cat. This snow is so light and fluffy, watch. <laughs> the colder it is when it snows, the fluffier the snow is. It's dry. Oh, did I get you covered in snow, mister? I'm guessing their bowl of water is frozen. But as cold as it was. Let's see. Watch out, Blossom. It is, but how thick? Not that thick at all, really. Maybe a quarter of an inch. You wanna play with the goats there, Figaro? Ever since I brought Willow back from visiting the buck, she's had a little bit more of an attitude. She's been a more bossy. I don't know if that's a sign or not. We'll have to wait and find out. Since it's cold out today, instead of just giving them half of a flake of hay, I'm gonna put a whole flake of hay in there to help keep them warm. Give them something to do. I'm hoping the girls of New York City have already laid their eggs for the day. This way I don't have to worry about them freezing on us. I've been spoiled with the chickens laying their eggs first thing in the morning. Normally, it's not till 10 o'clock, but these chickens, 7.30, they've been laying their eggs for the day. Their water, not being in any kind of insulated holder, is completely frozen solid. Where the goats, had like a quarter inch of ice. There's, that's a good inch thick. <laughs> oh, moose. I'm glad to see they laid their eggs. One, two. Four, six, wow, eight eggs. Holy moly, that one's still nice and hot. Eight eggs out of 10 laying hens. 
during the winter season. I love it. That's without any lighting, no heat, no nothing. We got these chickens from freedomrangerhatcheries.com. We have Novagins and Easter egg layers. They've been awesome. You wanna come in the house, Figaro? You must be cold. Climbing over the tundra. No? All right. Now comes the fun part. We get to test out and see how well these waterers work. I'm gonna trim this down. See how the bowl fits now. Fits good on this side. Over here, it's still hitting, so let's trim that up. Perfect. I want to trim the green foam so I can roll the tire. I'm gonna fill up two gallon jugs of water. And right now it's nine degrees out. All right. So this is gonna be the most fair test that I can think of. The tire and this bowl were inside. So is this one. We got hot water in both jugs. When I water my animals, I give them warm tap water first thing in the morning. So let's see which one freezes first and what the time difference is. One, two, in there. All right, leave it in the comments down below. Which one do you think is going to freeze first? And is there going to be a big difference? There's one. Let's check and see what the water temperature is now after we just poured them. First one is 120 and cooling down. Wow, that's pretty fast. 123, 122. Unfortunately, I can't do a time lapse. This cold weather just kills the batteries on my cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set the timer, if I can find it, on my phone. And we'll have to come out and keep checking. It goes nothing. We'll come out, I don't know, every five, 10, 15 minutes and check on them. Let's see what happens. All right, it's been just over 13 minutes. Let's check and see what our water temp is at. They're both still steaming. We're at 100. This one's at...
there's a few reasons we're using the tire. One is it's got room in it so we can put the foam in it. Another one is, is it's black. So in our winter chicken coop, which is a greenhouse, it's being black is going to attract the sun and it's going to warm up. So right now we're doing the test in the shade. This pot's not going to show in the test, but if it's sunny out, that tire is going to warm up. And if the water is melted, it'll help melt it and keep it warmer longer. Ah, that sun's starting to come up. It's been almost a half an hour. Let's check and see. All right, 85, and this one is, wow, 97. What a difference. It's pretty cool. I'll come back in, say, a half hour, and we'll see what happens. Tell you what, I'm glad I'm not staying out there with the water. Just over an hour. I can still see steam coming off of this one, but not that one. Let's see how we're doing. So 65, so it's dropped almost half in temp. Let's see, this one's at 80. So we've dropped about 45 degrees. It'll be interesting to see if once it gets to a certain temp, if it kind of hovers longer or not. We are just over two hours in now. It's snowing out and it's 15 degrees outside right now. We are down to 48 degrees, 47. All right, what's this one at? Wow, 62, 63. It's taken quite a while for the water to cool off. I didn't know if it would cool off faster, especially using hot water. I'm always getting comments saying, hot water freezes faster than cold water. Maybe we should do a test and see if hot water freezes before cold water. Leave it in the comments down below if you'd like me to do that test. The temperature is 21 degrees out now. The sun is out and it's been just over three hours. This test might go through the night. I'm not sure. Let's check and see what the water temps are. Oh, we're getting close there, 41. Fifty-one. Ten degrees. I gotta let them sit for at least another hour, and then we'll come back out and check them. Just shy of five hours in, and the outside temp is 27. And the sun is pretty bright right now. Whew. When we start, when we started, it was 10 degrees outside, 35. All right, that's pretty cold. Touching the bottom, 39. Okay, up high, 33. Very top of the water. So it's gonna start freezing on top soon. This one. 42 still, awesome. 42 up high and 42 down low. I think this is gonna go quite a bit longer. Now we are five hours and 16 minutes in and I just noticed this. This one is starting to get ice crystals, nothing. Let's check. Thirty-two, right where the ice crystal is. Right next to it. Ooh. This one. Forty-one. Six hours in. 
And it looks like the first bowl is completely covered, is completely covered in ice. Water temp, that's 33 right there, 32. Over here, 39, 40. We haven't dropped very many degrees since last time we checked. All this research is making me hungry. It's time to go inside and start cooking some dinner. What are you doing? Eating bananas and peanut butter and doing your homework? Good snack and good job doing your homework. You got math. Tonight we're going to be making something a little bit different for dinner. We're going to be making Salisbury steak tonight. We're going to be using fresh ground beef from Farm Foods. And I want to thank Farm Foods for sponsoring this part of the video. They sell some really nice grass-fed beef from different farms across the U.S. I'm going to put a link in the description down below. If you click on the link, you get 10% off your first order. Some of the packages have free shipping also. I'm using a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. Two teaspoons of ketchup, Olivia's favorite. Right, Olivia? Yeah. One teaspoon of mustard. And a teaspoon of Worcester sauce, however you want to pronounce it. It's nice when you're spending the money on the grass-fed meat to know the source of it and where it's coming from. You go to the grocery store, it's labeled grass-fed, but you don't even know what country it's from. Or well, you might know the country it's from, but is it really from there? Oh, this is smelling good. A lot of the times we're cooking either chicken or pork, so it's been nice to have a good source of grass-fed meat. I'm gonna make my burger into patties. Olivia's new love is hedgehogs, huh? Mm hmm You've been researching the heck out of hedgehogs, haven't you? Yes. I'm gonna cook my four patties right in a frying pan. Gonna need this upstairs. Let's go check the water temps again. It's been just over seven and a half hours. Olivia broke the ice out of this one a little bit right there when she got off the school bus. It's 33 down below the ice. And this one is 30. Wow, that's cool. Showing 32 up top, uh, 34, 32. I'll we'll have to keep an eye on it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a thin layer of ice shortly. Gotta move them in front of the truck. Gene is gonna be home shortly. They sure do smell good. All the burgers are cooking, let's get what we're gonna need ready to make the gravy. We're gonna need two cups total of beef broth. We need one cup right there with four tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna save the other cup for something else. Using my immersion blender. <laughs> Once the burgers are cooked, we're gonna take them off. Let them rest on a plate for a minute while we do the next step. I'm gonna get a cup of beef broth to a boil. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of butter. Now that we've got a good boil going, I'm gonna grab our beef stock and flour mixture.
We're gonna add in half a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. And a teaspoon of ketchup. Once the gravy's thicken, I'm gonna shut the heat off. And add the steaks back in. Until the sides are ready. Hanging up Christmas cards from friends, family, and viewers. Basically a little meatloaf with gravy. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got breadcrumbs in it, it's got ketchup. So it's basically well, your own little personal meatloaf. I like meatloaf. So do I. It's good. What's that? It tastes like a seasoned hamburger. It does, it's got ketchup in it. You girls should love it. I don't taste it. Yeah, she's so gonna be okay. We're going outside in a second. Is that your little baby? <laughs> mm, she's back talking. Yeah. <sighs> it's like, Pluto, you're going out. <laughs> Nine hours and 37 minutes. Let's check and see if the other water is frozen. It's 22 degrees out right now. Looks like a thin layer of ice. Very thin layer. Underneath it, the water is 33 degrees. So after nine and a half hours, there's a thin layer of ice and it's been 20 degrees out all day. I'm happy with that. That's some good results. The animals be able to drink their water while you're gone for work or the most part of the day. The goat's water is not frozen. And that's, get some light on in here. The goat's water's been out here probably 10 and a half to 11 and a half hours. We fed the goats and watered the goats this morning a good hour, if not two hours before getting the other ones outside. So that is very impressive. Nope, it's not frozen at all. The goat's water is gonna stay dethawed longer. Two reasons, there's a lot more foam in their insulated box and then being inside the barn, that's another layer of protection from the wind. Don't fall down the mountain. Hello. Looks like you did. <laughs> you got caught? Yeah. My caught and it me. Uh oh. It's been a good 24 hours since the water was put in the, the dishes. I want to see if there's a thickness difference sitting overnight. Oh yeah, look at the difference. Wow. That's crazy. 
go grab a tape measure. Let's see, the one that's in the insulated water is in between three quarters and seven eighths of an inch thick. And then the other one is over two inches thick. Wow, that's awesome. So that solves my frozen water issues. I can go between eight and 15 hours without my water freezing. I go out twice a day to water my animals, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. So in between those two times, the animal's water isn't gonna freeze, and that's what I was looking for. Problem solved. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know if you'd like me to do a test, seeing which one freezes first, hot water or cold water. I'm kinda curious about that. I've always been told that, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I've been thinking and pondering quite a bit lately about what our homestead will look like in 10 years if we keep pushing ahead and trying and growing, and that just, thought about that the other night and I was like, wow, in 10 years, where could we be? Guys, think about that for a few minutes. Where could you be in 10 years? This is mind blowing. We'll see you guys right back here in the next video. Bye.